What's up guys and welcome to the channel. I'm here to show you guys how to build a 5M server for absolutely 100% free. And I know that sounds pretty crazy. Uh, have you ever played in a 5M server and somebody was like, oh, it, it costs so much money to keep the server up, blah, blah, blah. It may cost a little bit of money to keep up a server that is a massive server. Let's say like like I used to be a part of the server that had like 200 people in it. So yeah, that's going to cost a little bit of money because they're doing like custom skins and stuff like that. But if you just want a server for you and your friends to role play on with legit working scripts, legit, with legit cars, and legit working police cars, then you came to the right place. And I'm going to do my best to walk you guys through um, how to set that up for free you know you can get well over a hundred vehicles in that server and still be free and have scripts that open like the police station the city hall the fire department stuff like that so so I want to run through this as quickly and as simple as possible because there's not a lot of videos out there showing you guys how to do this and not spend money I guess and they're not simplifying it in a way so I've had to look up several videos to figure all this out. But I do have a legit server that has well over uh, 19 people that join on a regular basis. We have police cars and real add-on cars, like real driven vehicles, and scripts, like a cuff script, um, a tow yard, everything. And still have no money in it, which is crazy, but we have no money in it. We almost had a Stark Tower in it, and, but we have to have Scriptbook V, and we're trying to do this as we're trying to do this as little as possible with the, with no money, and see how far we can get until we have to add like Scriptbook V in and stuff like that. So uh, Stark Tower didn't go in. This is kind of disappointing. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to Text Admin. First thing you're going to do is look up Text Admin, which is a 5M or Red M server management system. If you know, if you play on 5M, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's a server based mod platform for people who want to mod Grand Theft Auto and don't want to get banned, per se. <laughs> you go here and you go through the steps. You get started, you go to manual setup. That's what I did. And it literally walks you through what you need to do and get your license. Everything is free and is step by step. Not complicated at all. The next thing, so you get this all set up and it shows you everything here. You need to do auto field, blah, 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 do all this. Follow these. It literally gives you step by step instructions. Take this, put it on another monitor or another computer and follow it step by step. Best thing you'll ever do. And then you click done. So you, there you go. Bam. You have a server. You have to port forward the server in order for your friends to join it. So the next thing you're going to do is open up your router within, you know, within your internet or whatever. So you how you do it is you create a new port and then port forward. You put your IP that your computer is displaying and then you put the the port that's gonna be whatever the server is mine is 30102 I believe and then you'll do that in and outbound and that should be all you do you may have to look further into your PC settings to allow that through the firewall but if you can't get it to work look at your firewall and go from there it'll have the same setup Doing all that, you'll get some files that you'll download to your PC. I suggest downloading this server on a separate PC because it does take up some resources. So you won't this if you got a pretty beast PC, you could probably download the server on there and then download and then play it on the same server. That's a little hard because even like a really nice PC, it's going to choke it a little bit. And you don't want that. You don't want it being choked as you're playing the game. So you won't be able to enjoy the game while the server's up and your friends are in there. So what I suggest, you can build a burner PC. 
it literally doesn't have to be anything perfect. Mine has DDR3 RAM. That's how old it is. The server runs perfect. Eventually, I am going to upgrade it, but we didn't even know that this server was going to be a thing. We thought we had to spend a ton of money to in order to run this server, and it turns out you didn't have to. So now I'm upgrading another PC. But run the PC on a different server. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You'll get some files, put it on an SSD, because that's what's going to make it smoother. And make sure you have a lot of RAM, because these resources that you put in take up that RAM slot. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, but uh, I wanted to do this video, and this is kind of the way I have to do it. So this is my server computer that you're seeing here. I'm just live streaming from Discord to my computer and watching the stream. So as you can see, i got control of it here. I got another mouse, uh, keyboard and mouse for it. So, so after you get the server downloaded, this is going to be your folder that it downloads to. I just put a shortcut on my desktop because I'm in and out of this constantly. Okay, so you have your server, you have your text data. You don't necessarily have to mess with your server, but you're going to be in your text data a pretty good bit. The first thing that you want to do is get in here, and then you want to put a V menu in, right? Because so everybody needs a V menu. So, w what are you going to do? You're going to Google the V menu. And I'll put a link to the description of the V menu because everybody kind of looks for that. So, let me, uh, let me get that pulled up for you. All right, a simple search of V menu. It pops up with this kind of this right here V menu releases. You go to your, this is please read. You go through, this is like the main thing that keeps servers alive, right? Is the main thing that keeps like this is what people want to use. This is how you teleport around the map. This is how you spawn cars. This is how you, you know, do everything. Everything lives within this menu. You want this menu on your server. So, what you'll do is you'll go down and you'll download it. I've already got it, so I don't need it necessarily. But you download right here. Click it, it downloads for you. Let me make sure. Yeah, so it'll be the latest release. Make sure you find that because that's what you want is the latest release, which is 3.5.1. That's what I have. Click it, download it, and then I'll show you on the server computer where to, what to do next. All right, so in order to use this V menu, you have to put it in your server. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to resources. You, can, you don't have to do this. You can do this menu with these, with these little brackets on the end. So these work sometimes. All right. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. This this worked with my menu. It obviously didn't work with my scripts because I have scripts here. But um, you go in. You put the V menu. You extract the V menu. You drag it into this folder, the menus folder, and then you'll come up with these configurations and stuff. Right. This is for when you add on cars and stuff. We'll get to that. But anyway, you got your V menu in, and it should work. I mean, I'm sorry, it won't work. You got your V menu in. After you get it in your resources folder, you go down to your go down here to your server.config file, open it up. And what you're gonna do is you're going to ensure V menu. Just type in ensure. I'll go ahead and show you. Ensure enter space v menu and that's what you'll I've already got it in there so I don't have to do that necessarily and so that's what you'll do you have to make sure that the M is capitalized so this has to read exactly as this resource folder so inside that resource resource folder in maps or not maps in menus where it says v menu it's got to be spelled exactly the same so v lowercase m uppercase and then the rest lowercase it has this this is reading that resource folder so it has to say the same exact thing in order for that to work so once you ensure it you save it it will work or once you ensure it and save it you go up here to the top right here and you execute permissions.cfg so this didn't work for me the first time so I tried a couple different ways and it finally worked and executed the permissions like it was supposed to but I left this alone so you can copy this right here, or you don't have to, you don't copy it, but you execute permissions.cfg. I put start menu and execute, and then wherever the path is to that. And I'll show you how to get that. 
So you'll exit if you need the path as I have up there. I just left all that because my V menu didn't work at first and now it does. So you'll just go to here. You see this is the path and you just click this, right click and copy. And then once you copy it, you go back to your server.gf. You don't have to close this out. You can just, you know, do this and minimize it or whatever. But you go here and you paste that here and then you do forward slash permissions.cfg and that's how you that's that's where the resource folder is going to be that's the path to it and you execute it so exec and that turns it on so it didn't work the first time when I executed permissions and then I put start venue it still didn't work and then I put execute in here something happened and it worked so I didn't even touch it so I just left that alone that's why that's there now your V menu is working. It's one of the most important things in this 5M server thing that you're going to be doing, right? The next thing you want is cars. Everybody wants cars. So that's what I'll walk you through now. So what you want to do with cars is, oh, and if you want to check on your server, like if you want to make sure the V menu is working and whatnot, just start your server up, which is this right here. And right here, it's going to tell you if V menu is working. And I'll once the server started up, I can show you guys. I'll just go ahead and up, do this. I have like a crap load of stuff in here, so uh, we have over like a. It says we have. Let me show you. Where does it say that? We have a hundred and. We have 179 resources. So what that it, a resource is like cars, it's scripts, you know, a cuff script and, and hands up script and stuff like that. That's stuff you want in your server and a chat too as well. You can get all this stuff for free by just a simple Google search. They're everywhere for free. You do not have to pay for anything. You don't have to pay for, to rent a server with Zap Hosting. And Zap Hosting is a good place to rent a server. It's just really expensive, especially when you're like diving into RAM. The quickest, and it also protects like your IP and stuff as well. But the the best thing I think to do is get your own server and put it on a computer, because you'll have unlimited resources of RAM there. Because you could you run 32 gigabytes of RAM for 20 bucks. You know, you just buy the RAM off, you know, eBay or something. You just get used RAM and and it'll work. So as you come through here, it says, uh, it'll say started resource monitor or, you know, started resource map manager, started resource V menu. That's what we're looking for there. So it, it works. You know it works because it's in there. It started it. The next thing you do is you, I'm killing my server. The next thing you do is you will go to your server, load it up, get in there. And see if it works. And it's either going to be, it'll start off on the M menu. And I'll show you how to change that here in a second. But it'll be on the M menu or it'll be on the F1. But it starts off on the M. So I don't think they started off on the uh, V menu or on the F1 menu. Everybody has it on the F1 because key because it's the best, best way to do it. So how you're going to do that is when you, once all that is done, what you want to do is you want to go into your resources Go to menus, go to V menu, and there's going to be a permissions folder. You're going to take that and put it in your server.base right here, your CFX default.base. That's where mine is. It's right above my server config. You can get in here. And this is where you, this, and I know this looks crazy, but this is where you do all your permissions and stuff. And, and swap the keys like 288 is the F1 key that's what you want the menu on that's what everybody has the menu on so you'll just you know click it delete the number that's there put 288 control S which is save it saves the menu 
uh, it'll be on the F1 menu. You can go through and do these permissions. These permissions are they are step by step, if that makes sense. You go through. You can add admins. Uh, one thing that I did wrong was I did group admin, group moderator, and then I put a group cop, and it didn't work. The cops wasn't working. What you have to do so the the permissions fall back. So whoever, if a cop has permissions, the moderator behind them has those permissions, right? So it falls in line. So what you want to do is you want to do add principal. It'll it'll already have group admin and group moderator. So then you add principal, group moderator, group cop, and if you was to add EMS, so they can access the emergency vehicles as well. You would do add principal, group cop, group EMS, and if you wanted to add a whatever, you would do add principal, group EMS, group whatever, and then all those permissions that group whatever have fall back onto all the way up to the admin but the admin will have banning powers nobody else will because the permissions don't fall down the line they fall up the line if that makes sense so just make sure like just make sure you fix that there these are your simple these are all simple if you if you put a hashtag it kills it right it takes it out of the game so a hashtag We'll take fast run, fast fast swim, and fast jump out. If you want everybody to have everything in this menu, just unhashtag uh, the menu player all. But if you want them to only have certain things, hashtag this out, and then go through and pick what you want them to have. If you want them to have God mode, I don't. I have it on admin. But if you want them to have God mode, invisibility, unlimited stamina, then you'll unhashtag these three lines. If you don't want them to have fast run, fast swim and fast jump which I have which I don't have you hashtag it out and so on so forth the vehicle options as well if you don't want them to have add-on vehicles you'll hashtag it out which I will say people jump in the 5m for mostly for the real vehicles if you're hiding the add-on vehicles you're not gonna have that great of a server because that's one thing that draws people to an a role-playing server is at the add-on vehicles people come to the server to drive a Corvette right they don't want to come and drive an in-game car that you can get in Grand Theft Auto otherwise they would just play fucking Grand Theft Auto I hate that so much I'll get in a server add-on vehicles are locked it's like bro why is the add-on well it's all staff stuff like no just unlock the vehicles it doesn't hurt the res. it doesn't do anything bad Unless you have 200 people on a server that shouldn't be in there. It's going to hurt it. Yeah, unlock the add-on vehicles. If you want a successful server, do it. If you want to just be your friends and you're just your friends driving the real vehicles and nobody can get to them, hashtag it out. As simple as that. You go through the same way with everything else in this menu. Go through saved vehicles. Everybody can get that. Uh, personal vehicle menu. You know, you go through, toggle out anything that you don't want them to have. If you don't want them to open the doors, hashtag it out. Or you don't want them to add a blip to a car, hashtag it out. If you go through a player appearance, it's, it's all, you know, it's all the same. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show you this. So I don't, want, I don't want moderators to change time options in the menu, right? I don't want them to I don't want them to do all that. So group admins are the only ones that can do that. So I replaced what it said uh, built in everyone right here. I took it out and I put group dot admin. That only allows me and whoever has an admin powers to change the time or ban people because that that's coming up here. Uh, well, it was it was on up, but if you don't want people to get banned. Or if you don't want your moderators to be banning people, and that's kind of how I have mine set up. Only admins can change. Only admins can do ban powers, and then the moderators can do uh, pretty much everything else but ban people. Uh, and the and the reason that I have it like that is because I do not want to have a friend ban somebody that was going to be new to the server that probably didn't know like what we do there and they banned them for like fell rp or something i didn't want them to ban them for fell rp because they're just coming into the server and i don't want to have that you know i don't want to have to have a talk with uh a friend when we're trying to keep a server uh 
you know, a fun, you know, we're trying to keep the server fun and whatnot. So do as you want, but I will be the only one banning people on my server, if that makes sense. So if anybody has a concern, they'll come to me and ban it. I just don't want banning powers spread throughout the server for anybody to use, if that makes sense. <laughs> But yeah, you set it up the same way. You come through. If you these are the weapon loadouts. If you only want certain people to get like what like the grenade launcher smoke or the grenade smoke launcher, uh, I put that on cops so they can smoke out another cop that's downed. Or if uh, I'm talking like I'm playing PUBG, but yeah, um, group moderator can only get the RPG, which I took out because uh, we had moderators jumping in and using the RPGs and they shouldn't have. So I took it out. Um, and, uh, everyone, I, anything that's green, you can't get in the game. So that's kind of how that is. Uh, if you have your weapon loadouts and stuff and you and people are just coming in and shooting and throwing RPGs, every, it's hard to keep up, especially if you're an admin of the server. It's hard to keep up with that. Like, hey, don't shoot a rocket launcher this cop car that has somebody pulled over and they're trying to RP because they could be filming or recording a YouTube video or something and you've ruined it. You blew the cars up with an RPG and you sh shouldn't have, you know? It ruins the RP or whatever. So we'll exit out of that. That's the whole permissions part. I know that's a big thing. If you want to get resources for your server, like an attached script, like a city hall, or if a cuff script, that's a big one, a cuff script, um, all you do is a simple Google search. Google, uh, simple Google search. So let's do a car because that's one of the most complicated things to do, and I'll show you how to do the resources on that. So... Uh, another thing is set up a Discord so your friends can like throw everything because Discord gets pretty clogged up with like all the civ cars, the police cars that people put in and stuff that they want in. So if you want uh, like a civ car and say you want this um, challenger here. So you'll click it. I don't have this challenger in here yet. Uh, one thing you're going to need. So you'll have this challenger here. You don't necessarily have to just download it and build the folder, as you've seen on YouTube, people, you know, doing is building the folder and stuff, and put the YTD or the the YRT file, and it's it's complicated, I'll, to say the least. I'll save you the headache. So what you do, my good friend John found this. It's called Zero Dream Mod, and it converts files so you can use them in your 5M server. So what you'll do is you'll Go to like five mods, find the car, you'll copy the link, go to zero mod, paste it in here, convert. While it's converting, it does take a second to convert, but when it does, it pulls up a zip file here. So you'll go and save that zip file, open it, and it brings it here. Just extract all, extract it to your downloads, it's fine. It brings you up another, another window, close out the extraction file. You can minimize that. Go to your server. So what you'll do is you'll open, you know, your server or whatever, and I'll show you how to get back to this. So if you have a shortcut, just open your server up. Go to text, text data, your server, resources. Now you're here. Now go to your cars. And what you're going to do is when it converts this file, it'll put it a, a stream and a common and then the FX file. So you'll name this car, you know, whatever the car name is. And then you'll, and you, there's no spaces. Do not put spaces in it because it will not work. So keep it all one word, whether it's Honda Civic, one word. That's all it needs to be. No, it, it doesn't matter if it's capitalized. As you can see there, I've got capital stuff in here. It just needs to be one word for this to work. So you'll go, this is my cars, menu, my cars folder. So I'll just take it and I'll pull it in there. Move to cars. You can exit out of this. You'll see it popped up right here, the pandem. You get you go into the Steam folder and you find the YFT file. And that's going to be this one right here. Not the YTD and not this underscore HI. There's going to be several files that have like different types of vehicles. Always just get the YT, YTF file, the simplest one. You'll copy it. You'll go back to your V menu. 
So go to menus, V menus, go to add ons right here. Once you get down to add ons, you just go to the next line, just click enter, and then put parentheses, and it puts both of them. Control V, which paste it in there, hit your arrow key over, and then put a comma. And then you can hit enter if you want to, but not. I just control S, saves the file. Uh, let's get that file out of there. Don't save. So it saves that file. Exit out. Go back to the car. Got to go find the car. Those in the P's. Right here. And you just, what you'll do is you'll copy the name of the file. Go back to your server.config. Open it up. You'll scroll on down. As you can see, I have a hashtag here. This just means that anything after the hashtag doesn't work. I showed you that in the menu, in the previous menu, on the uh, whatever you call it, per permissions. I scroll all the way to the bottom. These are cars that we've taken out that we that we don't need or haven't used, and they just take up resources that we don't need. Um, you just click enter. You'll go to the next line. Click ensure. It'll pop up. I always just click enter on it just to be sure. Enter. Control V puts the car in there. Control S saves it. Bam, you'll have a car in your server. So then you you can exit out of this if you want to try the car out. Just minimize everything, open your server up. And you'll see that it insured that car here. That means it worked. Oh, and I told you guys that so when you're doing um do the same thing with the with this zero dream mod if you want to put buildings in and stuff so what you'll do is you'll go to resources you'll extract that building and it'll have this it that's one of the easiest ways to do it too and uh you'll extract it like this death script here has all this you can download this stuff like if the death script and the and it already has it that's fine download it extract it pull the file in with these death script with the death script the disabled dispatch the drag like it's already set up it's fine pull it in put it in here copy the name go to your server.config ensure it and control or control ensure control v control s and you'll save it so once your menu is up it shows this and then we can go check out the server to make sure everything works this is my server here in another video if you want me to I can walk you guys through on how to put pictures in like this you can put an intro in and stuff like that it's as simple as downloading a script and and building it out it's easy super easy we have over I, I can't remember exactly it's like 170 something um, I think it's like 170 something resources or something like that along those lines and it all everything works um it doesn't use much of my ram or whatever because you can go to your text admin and once you go to your text admin it shows you the diagnostics of the of the computer how much ram you're using how much cpu uses you're using within the the server PC itself and it shows the players and everything that you need you'll see that on your own it shows you know information that probably people don't need to see so I'm not going to like, show you guys <laughs> but um, if you want to you'll see it on your end uh, you'll have like a live console resources to server log and stuff like that a diagnostics thing that tells you stuff everything so just keep that in mind when you're when you're um, doing all that. Anyway, if it works and you got your menu on your F1, it pops up here. And then, see, I've got ban players. I can ban players and stuff like that. Go here and click them. I can ban players, kick players, kill players, ban temporarily. That's stuff that only you should have. Only you should have. I should not stress that enough. I've seen friends lose friends over this kind of stuff. So... And uh, you got player related options. I have no clip, which is set on a hotkey. You should not let anybody no clip. No clip's like a 
admin thing. Otherwise, people no clip away from RPs. If your server is serious in that manner, you probably don't want no clipping happening for random pedestrians. You got your vehicle menu, go to spawner, go to add on vehicles, and then you got all of your real vehicles. So you got your Chevy truck, you know, you got your SUVs, you got your Nissan Titan, you know, just all the random vehicles that you put into into your server. This is a custom sound. If you want that custom sound, I can make a video on it as well, but I can show you how to put custom sounds in. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty simple. Simple, simple, simple. And then you'll have like your own permissions and stuff. Uh, what do you, so you'll have weather options where you can do times, like you can do midnight. Give a flashbang. You can do announcements from your text admin. You can let everybody know that you're doing a flashbang. And then everybody's like, oh, okay, cool, because it's bright especially if you're in a dark room playing this game is bright voice chat settings it comes with a vo uh, proximity chat that I have not changed because it works for us it's a little choppy every now and then but you want it on five meters you don't want it on global so put it on five meters ask everybody to change it and that should be as simple as that I give teleport options to everybody to teleport to waypoint because it's very complicated to drive from the bottom of the map to sandy or from Sandy to the bottom of the map just to role play and then you're cruising down the highway and you're speeding and the cops and the admin spawns on you it's like hey why are you GTA driving and it's just really annoying so teleport to waypoint I would recommend leaving it for everybody because they'll teleport to the area of play and that's that's pretty much it if uh, that's I mean that's pretty much the whole deal there if you guys want to see more in-depth footage of 5M stuff like me diving deep into the permissions folder on like a you know on a precise level just let me know in the comments below I'll do more videos of adding uh, scripts as well like like I said all all this has been for free I've not spent any money on this I'm sure if we did spend money it would be a lot better but as of right now this is what we already got. This is just a server with a bunch of scripts and cars that me and some friends get on and role play on. So if that's what you want, you came to the right place. Leave a like, leave a like for me, and uh, again comment what you think I should do next. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.